Hvad er I nu, Lea? Darren, how about, how, how's the week been for you so far? I mean, it's been a good experience just taking it all in, uh, getting to really know everybody uh, from around the country and also the coaches as well. What are some things you're looking forward to showing here? Uh, just the way I move, you know, movement, stuff like that. And just, you know, how I've been perfecting my crap over the couple, last couple months. Last time you were in AD, you guys beat Alabama. So what was that experience like to finally get over that hump? As y'all know, uh, the first game, first game didn't go how we wanted to, but uh, just to have that second chance, yeah, it really meant a lot to us. Uh, just having that second chance, being able to and being able to play the best once again, and like it, it's hard to beat a good team twice. So uh, just going out there and prove what we can do. What will it take for Georgia to stay on top of Alabama, kind of going forward here? Yeah, uh, I say, not really worry about the past. Uh, the past don't, you know. Don't lead up. Don't lead over to the next season. Uh, just starting over, getting getting back in your routine, and just keeping your head down and working. Did you sense that the past losses to Alabama might have been in the guy's head a little bit? I mean, you'd beaten Alabama at Clemson before, but did you sense there was something a little different when the dogs matched up with Bama the first time? Uh, yeah, we uh, came in, did did a couple things differently that we that we normally don't do uh, that we did during the season, and that second game we got back to the basics basically. Got back to the bases, do, do what we normally do, uh, offensive and defensive, and it just showed show what we can do. How was how did the teams Clemson and Georgia? And again, this is it's fascinating to talk to a guy that was a star on both teams. How was the approach different against Alabama for Clemson versus Georgia? How they approached the tie? Uh, really, for the for, for the national championship, it, it's pretty much the same. Uh, you know, just going out there with confidence, knowing that you you've been the best all season, and just going out there and putting it all on the line. Um, as far as like you know schemes and stuff like that, we we you know we we playing differently, playing different for uh, different personnel. So uh, I just say personnel and scheme wise, that, that was different. Darren, what was your perspective of Kelly's pick six uh, from a guy that I guess you were on the field, right? Yeah, uh, I was proud of him. Uh, like. You know, a couple drives before that, like I was telling him, like I need you, I need you right here. Like this, this our last chance to show, to show, and to close the game. And that drive come, he catches the interception, and I was on the other side of the field. I was like, yeah, nobody's catching him. He, he's a four three, four three type of guy, and I was like, yeah, it's over with. Have you met with the Steelers at all, whether formally or informally? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, how did that meeting go? Uh, it went pretty good. Uh, you know, just talking over some ball and stuff like that. Uh, not what I didn't do in the uh, in the Super Bowl. So, uh, just you know, giving them my, my field side, see what I can do, you know, intelligence and stuff like that. What's when what's you Stan Lanning like as a coach? What's Stan Lanning like as a coach? Uh, a lot of energy uh, in meetings and on the field. Uh, he comes in and you know. Tries to put it on us uh, just to get better each and every day, 1%. How would you describe the simulated pressure that you guys utilized for a cornerback position? How did that? How was that different for you, maybe, than what you were doing at Clemson? Uh, we had some of that. We had some of the same, you know, kind of blitzes at Clemson. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't truly new to me, but uh, we we did it a lot more at Georgia. Uh, so, you know, get, getting those reps and. Just being able to switch things up instead of bring, you know, bringing linebackers, bringing the safeties most of the time. You just bring the corner and, you know, hit, hit home. What was it like covering Jermaine Burton? What was your reaction when he came to Alabama? Uh, great, great player, uh, smart player. Uh, he know, he knows what you're trying to do to him as, as a defensive guy, and he just perfects his crowd every day. So we're at it every day, uh, and I really guarded him basically the whole season uh, throughout practice. So. Great, great player. Did guys give him a hard time though going to Alabama though? Uh, not, not, I don't think we did as, you know, teammates, you know, we respect his decision uh, and give, you know, give him that, give him a uh, good look on, on what on what the future may look like. Uh, as far as media, you know, people may, why did he do it, stuff like that, but, you know, you can't, you can't, can't, uh, 
I mean, you can't just go against a decision. It's, it's a, it's a man, one man decision. How tough is that as a player to disconnect from one program, or maybe you don't disconnect yeah. when you go to another? Obviously, you made the change from Clemson to Georgia. I mean, what's what's that like after you've been all in at one school to go to another? Yeah, uh, I stay connected uh, with with my teammates mostly uh, that from Clemson, uh, just staying connected with them, and you know, trying to trying to work with them, but also you know, building the chemistry with my with my new teammates as well. Uh, you know, just working every day. And just you know, giving each other pointers on well, how do how do we get better over time? How much did that opening game mean to you? I mean, right, boom! I mean, right out of the gate, you're playing your former team. I mean, that had to be an odd feeling. Uh, it really meant a lot. Uh, coming from that program and you know, going through the things that I went through, and just God put me back in that position to get that another chance. Uh, it really meant a lot. Came in. And just just locked in, to be honest, uh, and not not being too high, not being too low in the game, and just you know staying composed. Jerry, when you've had these meetings with NFL teams, has uh, you know how things ended at Clemson? Uh, has that come up in, in every meeting, pretty much? Uh, you, you know, you know, teams are looking for the best, the best, you know, off the field, mo mostly, so they don't have to worry about you getting in trouble and stuff like that. So yes, yeah, sir, it has come up, and you know, I own up to my mistakes. What does he want NFL teams to know about you personally, your character? Uh, just to show them, you know, all that stuff is behind me. Uh, I, you know, made some bad decisions, stuff like that. But just growing up as a person, uh, maturity-wise, you know, communicating with my coaches uh, over time, and that's that's the things I had to work on. How tight was it? Do you think you can bring to the next level with your skills? Uh, you know, just bring just bring energy uh, to whatever team I get drafted to, and also, you know. Just being that physical type guy, uh, whether it's press or coming up to tackle somebody, uh, you know, some some corners don't like to do that, but I'm one of those corners as well. How tight was it at Georgia? You earned a lot of praise from Kirby Smart this year. He said a lot of good things about you. How tight a shift did they run there? Uh, it's, it's pretty tight. Uh, you know, trying to be the best, which is every every week, week in and out, uh, and you know. He stayed. He stayed on me constantly, and I and I own. I stepped up to it. So, what's it like hearing Kirby on that mic? Was that something you had to get used to? Apparently, he calls you guys out in practice all the time. Uh, I mean, not really. I had a I had a defense coach at Clemson as well, Brent Venable. So, uh, you know, coming to that sideline and practice with with Brent, and you you mess up. Hey, it, it was basically the same thing. So. It, it was nothing new. Uh, take it in, you know, not really taking it personal. Uh, he's just trying to make you better as a player. So, how much did you cover Corey Brooks number seven for Alabama title game? Uh, I covered, covered him a little, a little good, a little good bit. Uh, he's a great young player. Uh, made a lot of plays when he got his chance to, and you know, just being able to sh showcase what I can do as well. Darian, what does what does Georgia have at corner? Uh, you know, in your spot that. Uh, you know, that you're going to step up uh, more playing time. Yeah, um, well, you know, Keely Ringo, uh, which is one corner, and then, you know, a couple young guys, Kamari Lasseter, uh, Nyla Green, people like that. Also, freshmen that's coming in. So, uh, just trying to go back and tell them guys, like, hey, it don't matter what age you is, what, what age you are, you can be a leader. You, you can go out here and perform as well as anybody. So, Darren, obviously Coach Muschamp had a couple of different roles while he was with y'all at Georgia, but just what was his kind of impact on, on you and, and the, on the defense as a whole as well? Um, he was really a mentor to me, uh, you know, just being there when I need when I need a shoulder to lean on. So I just, you know, appreciate him for that. And also, you know, just I'd say in the meeting room, you know, get, just getting us fired up. You know, some, some days it's like, uh, we're doing this again, but he's just getting us fired up and getting us ready. So, great, great energy each and every day. I think Channing said yesterday he, that Muschamp brought the, brought the juice is what he said. Yeah, so definitely. Kind of what his, his role was a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it started with special teams. He come in, special team meeting, kickoff, and he's like, hey, y'all get, y'all, you feel me, y'all wake up. So, uh, it, it, he definitely brought the energy each and every day, whether it's on and off the field. So. You mentioned playing for Coach Vanderbilt. Just for people who haven't been around him, experienced him, how would you kind of describe playing for, for, for Coach Vanderbilt? Uh, loving guy. Uh, loving guy. He he also brings amazing energy, as y'all see on TV. Uh, 
and then, you know, just trying to make you better, uh, whether it's in the film room, off the field, and just constantly staying on you to make you that better player. Darren, you faced a lot of guys that are already in the NFL. You faced guys that are going to be in the NFL. Which wide receiver gave you the most trouble? Uh, I'd say really Jamar Chase. Uh, you know, physical, fast guy. Uh, you know, great, great player. Uh, he was he was in the NFL already when, when he was in college. So. You played in a lot of big games throughout your career. If you had to show an NFL head coach one game, say this is why you picked me. Which game? I'll say my last game, uh, Alabama. Uh, just, you know, going out there and getting that second chance and going, you know, showcase what I can do. Uh, just, you know, locking up that one side of the field. When did, when did you realize you had won a, another title? Uh, just in the locker room before the game. Uh, not not too high of an energy, not, not too low. Uh, everybody, everybody quiet in their own zone. So I just knew that. We was gonna have we was gonna have a great game that night. Before the game, two more yes, questions. What'd you say about uh, George Pickens? And you, you went up against George a lot. Uh, we've we've heard a lot about him this week. How would you tell break him down for people? Uh, some some people don't know he very intelligent uh, as a player, uh, very manipulative uh, of a DB. Uh, gets you leverages, knows how to break you off, stuff like that. And point of attack is crazy. Uh, he goes to get the ball, great hands. So, a great. He's a he's a tough guy to cover. Can you but, tell me a little bit about your uh, like your film work before the Alabama game on Jamison Williams? I know you played him a couple times. He didn't make it through. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, had the injury in the last matchup. But what was the film work like for you heading into that game? Uh, pretty much the same as the first game. Uh, he had he had certain routes that they put him on in, in certain situations. So, you know, just just staying on that film and and noticing. Like what routes are coming, so uh, that, that's basically how my fan went. And just know, just knowing, like you got to put hands on them to slow them down, because if you don't, it's over. Thanks, Darian. Thank y'all. Thanks. Thank you.